Okay, so how are we going to do this? On the left hand side are a series of screenshots and on the right hand side is our current video animation which goes like this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing for the New Era, Episode 15, Transitions. In today's episode, which is the second chapter, we entered by reflecting that Transitions is suggesting itself as a new theme in this series. Uh, then we did a bunch of stuff. We, we in, decided we needed to have a timbre's vocabulary. So, for example, um, our backbone is almost always piano, our classic go-tos are flute, clarinet, contemporary or poly and sweep synthesizers, etc. And then we also realized we could use a font vocabulary because on this video project over here, the, the fonts we had didn't have this kind of whimsical fantasy renaissance look, so we had to search for that. So, with uh, uh, the snowball video, uh, which is what we're the snowball, a ball taking place with snow in science space. Um, you can see the snow here. Uh, we're upping our design method approach. So anyway, what happened is we listed a timbre vocabulary. We continued the project. Uh, we made a design table. We picked our colors, our purples and blues. And for that, we were kind of refer referencing again all of these screenshots that we had taken. But we also had black and white for the chessboard. And then we also had some gold and red on some of these folks, especially over here, we get gold and red. So we have a bunch of colors to work with. We have stills. We haven't yet tried a video using our video clips. Uh, sound, mood, season of the year, uh, etc 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 so we spent a bunch of time on that and the main thing we spent time on in today's chapter was to get a to get us a, a score worked out some kind of music because we didn't have any and we decided to stick with this custom four note scale because we calculated the consonants and it's a very high consonance scale it's like 2.2 out of two uh, so if we want a light whimsical feel then means we're going to need some intervals where we can kind of keep things light and uh, consonant. So this is what we came up with, and you heard a little bit of it. So what we're going to do is play the music for you that we came up with so far, and that'll bring us home. So that concludes today's episode. What we kind of like about composing this music is the design approach, um, picking the scale and realizing that this custom scale that we had come up with a couple episodes ago actually would work quite well for a fantasy light feel, uh, making these motifs from scratch. And then we took a chapter from a previous episode several episodes and we reflected each one of these so each one of the second part let's light theme three and light theme three reflected so um f and a reflect to c and a and so forth and so on um we also like how we built in the repeats 
which is reminding us of the beats and the loop structure that we're just beginning to experiment with. There's also the idea of transitions between these different pieces of loop repeats. There's certainly the, uh, the transitions between um, co slide colors like that. Right there, right there are three major visual themes in a row. So our ideas for next time are to continue the snowball video project. For example, add timbres. Now that we have the basic piano, as we said, the piano is our go-to backbone structural. Now we can start looking at putting some sparkle and shimmer like glockenspiel and contrabass and, and so forth and so on. Shoutouts to Miss Cleo, Steady Worker, and Silent Lurker are standby. We appreciate you. Do take care. Do come back. Tune in next time to see what happens. And do keep on streaming.